What is up everybody? Welcome back to the channel and welcome to another video. Sorry I have not uploaded in a couple of weeks. I have been busy uh, doing other things. My handlebars cracked on my Harley and so my Harley is completely tore down. Uh, we did a lift kit on my son's Jeep and so I've been dealing with stuff like that. And so we will be having some Harley content and some Jeep content coming to the channel. And so if you do not want to watch those, um, just don't click on those videos. They will be labeled as such. But that's not what this video is about. As you've seen in the description, this video is about the spec on the 2019 Kenworth T680, which we have chose for our company trucks at Red River Trucking. So, we currently have two of this identical spec that you are looking at sat here behind me in this fire engine red, which is probably not what Kenworth calls it, but that's what I'm calling it, so they can just deal with that. But um, So, as you look at the truck, like I said, it is a 2019 Kenworth T680. It has the 77 inch sleeper. Um, it's your pretty standard over the road truck. I mean, you're not looking at anything spectacular. You know, we don't have, we didn't go with the studio sleeper, or the aero cab or anything like that. Um, you know, all we did is, you know, we added some little perks and features that we liked. So, um, as we walk around up front, you know, you can see the little chrome bits and pieces just to add some style to it. You know, we went with the aero kit, you know, being over the road truckers, you know, for fuel economy. You know, we threw the aero kit over the fuel tanks, up the side, over the mirrors. Um, we threw the chrome bits in, so the hubcap covers all this chrome chrome over the kenworth signs as you've seen in the startup got chrome on the mirrors we did the full chrome bumper the full chrome grill we got the chrome on the back of the lights up top coming around to the passenger side same thing sorry she's she's dirty and i literally just washed her yesterday um but coming up over the mountains in colorado there was snow melting off and it spit all over the truck so but in this video we are only going over the exterior and the drivetrain i will do another video on the spec inside um i did add these stickers if you haven't subscribed please go and subscribe I have a girl, I will play the footage now of her cutting the stickers and put her Instagram on the screen. If you want stickers made, um, you can get a hold of her on there and she can go over details with you. Uh, she did the YouTube sticker and she did these numbers up here as you're watching the footage. But uh, she did not do these. We had another company do these, but she does have... Uh, the ability to do things like this um, she can't do uh, multi-colored stickers as of yet she is working on getting a plotter to where she can print but anyways that's enough of that go check her out if you want more information on that but moving to the back we added the snow chain holder as you can see here and then we added extra air running to the very back of the truck, which I'll show you in a second. But this is the uh, how you turn it on and off right here. So if you want your air lines to be turned off, you know, essentially right here and not have the air running through these hoses, we can turn them off here. And then when you turn them off here, it essentially runs the air back here to these attachments <clears throat> to where we can hook up at these glad hands and our power and then you know hopefully in the future we can get our trailers at least our flatbeds and our step decks to where 
our air and our power hookups are back here. That way if we're hauling oversized loads that uh, that hang over up here up front, sometimes we'll haul steel loads and whatnot that overhang this area and the risk, you know, when you're making a tight corner of these air lines and power lines getting cut, you know, it's just, it's high and so, you know, I would like to just eliminate these air lines up here and put them down underneath there. So, um, so that's one of the features that we added on our trucks. Um, you can see here that, you know, we have a bunk heater on the inside, just in case I forget to uh, go over that when we're on the interior. Um, I had them move these lights and add an extra one for our backup or cargo lights, whatever you want to call them. There's one on each side and I had them put them wide out to the sides. That way at night, if we're strapping down loads or backing up, you know, they shine more down the side of the trailers versus uh, just straight back into your cargo. So, um, Another thing that I will be looking at is possibly putting a box right here, one of the little stubby boxes, so that I can get rid of my milk crates. But if anybody does want to know, two milk crates fit perfectly right here. And then I have a couple of bungees just holding them in place, holding my uh, 20 foot chains. And then this is just my bungees for my tarps. And my tarps are up there, obviously, so. But uh, yeah arrow kit but that's about it for the exterior of the truck you know like I said not not anything crazy special but just a pretty standard over the road truck but we like them so they have been good for us but let's pop that hood and look at the engine all right, boys, so what you're looking at here is the Packard engine. It's the model 1600. It is 510 horsepower. And that is backed up by the Eaton 13 speed automatic transmission. Yes, I said automatic. And apparently when these guys did my last little inspection, they left fuse box open so that's always great because seeing how I just got it washed yesterday um, that could have been awesome but um, so yes I did say automatic um, these automatics have we'll go over the automatic in my driving video let's uh, we'll just we'll, we'll do it then um, but uh she pulls. I mean, I'm happy with it. Coming from the Volvo, if you guys have watched my earlier videos, coming from the Volvo, it's definitely pulls a lot harder. The Volvo was only 425. This is 510, so obviously there's going to be a noticeable difference. Um, and, uh, you know, she climbs. At 80,000 pounds, I can... Uh, she climbs. So... But, uh... Yeah, not bad, not a bad truck. So I would highly recommend them. Uh, you do have the option to switch it into manual, so you can drive it as a manual if you so choose to. Uh, you just have to remember to switch it back into automatic or remember you are in manual when taking off from stoplights or you will over rev the engine. Don't ask me how I know that. But um, coming back to the rear end, these are 325s in the rear end, which have done really well for us so far. Um, both of these trucks only have right around 40,000 miles on them as of now. We picked them up in November, so, um, so as of now, no issues, no problems. Uh, I might do like a video of five things I hate, five things I love, something like that about the trucks. Cause I mean, you do have those things, no matter what you're driving, you're gonna run into those things that just 
drive you nuts but there's also the things that you really like but but anyways guys um i will see you on the next video we are going to go over the inside spec on the next video um well it might not be the next video but the next video about the truck will be the inside spec and then we will do a driving video too about uh about uh what i think about the driving as far as how it drives and how the automatic handles and things of that nature so but i do appreciate everybody for watching we are one subscriber away from hitting 200 which is amazing seeing how uh, you guys apparently like watching my nonsense so but i will see you all on the next 